Good morning guys. Everything's pumping except my coins. <laughs> and that sucks of course. Eh? Uh, Bitcoin Cash and Byteball uh, both uh, well Bitcoin Cash is at 0.09 Bitcoin uh, that's basically the same as when I started buying it 0.1 when uh, Bitcoin Cash launched in Bitcoin value of course in fiat value it's up a lot because Bitcoin in the meantime is up a lot uh, in the last three months but okay when you're a crypto investor and your investment goes down versus Bitcoin or it stays the same well yep it's not a win yet <laughs> um, but uh, we are clearly in uh, yeah uh, we're in parabolic uh, territory here uh, all alts uh, not all alts but the top alts top 20 start to pump like crazy actually there are if you look through coin market cup there are like so many coins that are starting to go up 50 percent a day so this is a uh, very very dangerous territory um, i think uh, we're already at 470 billion uh, market cap so it was a week ago or so it was 300 350 so i have the impression that we're um that we have this uh, another big leg up um, and it's uh, and we will get this one trillion uh, market cap much sooner than um, well than uh, than I would have expected um, and but it, it's it's uh, it, the danger here is to think that oh if it's sooner here then it will go a lot higher and it doesn't work that way uh, no no if it's sooner here it will just crash sooner so um but uh, but this becomes uh well how do you call it um, where the chef gets uh, separated from the there's an expression like that but uh the last phase of the bubble are the more the risky but also the ones where you can make the most money and and it's typical for well many coins low tier coins eh, the two coins lower in the in the in the ranking uh, that they will only pump at the final end and uh, they will pump a lot then but it will take also a long time and it takes a lot of patience because you see many other coins go up and uh, and yours is not one of them and that's of course uh, difficult um, um, but uh, the, well, the biggest mistake is to jump off uh, early uh, that uh, may cause uh, big regrets but at the same time you should be prepared that if your coin starts pumping like crazy um well uh i mean to take some profit uh, off the table uh, lock it in and, and and protect yourself against a possible bear market uh, and uh yeah i think if we if we reach that one uh, one trillion plus market cap valuation um uh, I will make an update of that uh, chart of um, or, or hope that uh, Trollo makes an update because that chart I think is is, is very 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 uh, helpful but um, it may uh, look at that point that we are already at uh, 700 800%, percent maybe even up to thousand um, percent uh, a higher valuation than the historical average price of all coins together uh, right now it still stands at only 90 billion eh? so 90 uh, 45 so now we're already at 500 uh, percent so 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 it goes up quick eh? the, uh, when I last made the video there it was 300 uh, percent a couple of weeks back three weeks back so 500 percent so we might be at uh, 700 percent in two weeks and then um, uh, at the market cap of not 400 but maybe 700 or 800 billion and that may be the peak uh, if I look at previous uh, heights uh, uh, in 2011 it was 1300% uh, in 2013 it was 1000% so if you well just uh, extrapolate this uh, then we will not get 1000% again uh, of overvaluation but only maybe 800% 7% and that means that um that well um 
that uh, that uh, uh, that one trillion market cap may not be reached, and uh, that we may peak out at seven hundred, eight hundred trillion in this bubble, uh, and that it will take. Uh, a bear market uh, of uh, at least six months, uh, but can take up to three years, uh, because the last bear market uh, was 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 for the whole actually actually it was only one year. So no, it could take uh, could take uh, two years, uh, not three years, uh, because every bear market seems to take longer. Uh, every bull market also, so the cycles become longer. So yeah. Um, um, uh, so a bear market from six months to two years is is certainly possible then, uh, and uh, and so that means that uh, yeah um, uh, you want to prepare for that right now because uh, going from the current four four hundred fifty billion to to seven hundred eight hundred uh, billion uh, can be done in just a couple of weeks, uh, and so you really need to have your plan ready, and the plan is. For me uh, to break my rule to not sell my favorite coins, uh, Bitcoin Cash and Bitepal, but of course they have to pump uh, hard uh, before uh, because if they don't, I'm in trouble. Um, so 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 I, I have my fingers crossed and hope that uh, these coins also pump very hard uh, before we are at a, a market cap or, or of 800 billion, so that I can take some money off the table myself too. Uh, look in some profits in uh, in fiat uh, to uh, to buy back um, only at uh, a much later stage, uh, uh, waiting again for a 90% correction. I totally failed in this uh, earlier this year. Um, uh, I was very wrong uh, in predicting how high the Bitcoin would go. My initial uh, expectation was uh, 2,800 US dollars. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. Eh? When we're now at 18,000, so I was totally wrong. Luckily, uh, I, I, well, I didn't lose too much um, uh, potential returns there uh, and changed my mind again. Um, um, I forgot the exact numbers, but I think it was between 3,000 and 5,000 or so that I that I went to a minority crypto. But since then, I've been in majority crypto again. So, so I'm, I'm happy with my moves. Uh, but for me, uh, the, the the cherry on the pie still needs to come. Uh, I've, for example, today NXT and Ardor have been uh, pumping a lot there now. I think it's 1.5 billion market cap together. And. Um, yeah, uh, that's interesting to see, to see uh, because I used to be a big investor in NXT. If I would held on to all my coins, I would have done financially a lot better, even with NXT and Ardor, than the strategy I've been following, which is I've sold it all and uh, I invest in projects that I believe in more. But uh, but that's how it goes. I actually don't feel bad about that particular case. I, I, I find it remarkable. Uh, I would have expected to feel much worse uh, seeing a project go to 1 billion market cap that I've been investing so much in and uh, of my time and money and, and basically exited it at, I don't know, 100 million market cap or so. So, so but I don't feel bad about it and this, 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 uh, uh, I like to see that. Um, I don't feel bad about it but because my heart was not in the project anymore, I didn't believe in it anymore. And so if, even if it now goes to much higher valuations, I don't feel jealous uh, actually, or uh, I, I, I wish them uh, really all the best and, and I'm very happy that uh, it goes well for them. Um, it's a little bit more difficult when I look at IOTA for me, uh, because IOTA is a project that's more um, well related to what I am invested in Byteball. Uh, and seeing that go to 10 billion market cap while at the same time Byteball is stuck at 200 million uh, That's more difficult for me. I have to admit um, It sucks, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's uh, Yeah It's never you should not I, I I just don't think it's good to 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 uh, to let your jealousy uh, Overtake you. It's really not a uh, jealousy usually when it comes to girls or investors, eh, if you're jealous of someone else, uh, of your partner, or 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 or, or, or of, of a friend that's successful, I experience that myself. Also, sometimes that people are jealous of me, and it's really not a fun experience. 
I feel often that people really don't understand how much energy I've put in myself and uh, the, 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 the things I have overcome within myself to achieve my uh, the things in life like investment success or 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 or, 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 or a success with the ladies so if people are jealous on me it's not cool it's not uh, friendly uh, it's not uh, it's not a friendly gesture at all so I've tried to also do that not with other people uh, and when I feel that um, yeah I, I think well in this example IOTA for example yes okay they are valued very high I was very wrong uh, with all my calls about them, but they do certain things very very good much better than bite ball uh, On the marketing and, and, and relationship department clearly eh? like they built a lot of relationships with companies And I think it's important to learn from that uh, I, I, The same with Ethereum I had I was jealous at the start but later I changed my mind and said look Let's look at Ethereum what they do well eh? because at the time I was competing with NXT but Ethereum totally won out there and and yeah, just learning from it, I saw that, well, Ethereum, uh, Vitalik, um, well, he did uh, he did a lot of things better than NXT. He was really targeting developers to build on top of the platform. NXT was always focused on having a, a total solution. Uh, and so, and so that was a real big uh, difference in approach. That was a much better approach uh, of Ethereum. So I think we can always learn from people that are much more successful than us. And it's important to do this also in the current market uh, when you see many others be a lot more successful. But at the same time, uh, it's not smart to, 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 to uh, when it comes to investments, to uh, dump your bags and jump on the, on the one that's successful. It doesn't work that way. You have to make your own success and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and you have to uh, well, Build from the bottom and, and, and learn from others and implement in your own uh, life or in your own project. And, uh, and I think uh, that's what I also want to do. Talk also, it's a good time to still invest in Bitcoin Cash or Byteball in my case. But if you are in projects that I feel are not... Because the nice thing about a bull market like this is... Well, okay, it sucks that other coins go up and yours not, but at the other hand because other coins go up your probability of your coin going up becomes a lot higher uh, so if Bitcoin go continues to go to new all-time highs actually that's good for all coins even when it costs them initially when they are uh, being dumped versus Bitcoin actually it's very good news because if Bitcoin goes to a new high the probability that all the other coins go into a new high is also up a lot so you can with much more confidence invest more in these coins that are having difficulties right now and, and the same we see now with, okay, it's not just Bitcoin now, we see the top coins start to pump like crazy. Okay, that's actually uh, gives a lot more um, uh, security investing in, for example, Byteball or many other coins that still are struggling versus Bitcoin. Because uh, the probability is up a lot that these will also start pumping a lot uh, quite soon. Um, that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you a great day.